Hello world though, this is Wolfstar Games and welcome back to more Robotics Notes El Elite? No, Dash. <laughs> That's the game we're playing. I've already finished Elite. <laughs> um, <laughs> slip in the tug. Uh, but last time we had a photo shoot with Eileen, but it got cut kind of short because she hiccuped and reverted back into ID. Of course, she had to go and hide first. So before we actually get into uh, what we're going to go through today, I uh, want to mention that what we are going to go through today, I have already seen. To explain that, I when I initially sat down to record the other day, you know, I I made sure everything was all good, and then you know I got into the recording session, and afterwards, when I was looking through my footage, I came to find that my face cam footage uh, wasn't synced up correctly for some odd reason. I have no idea what happened with that. And on top of that, my face cam footage would not save. So I was like, great. I'll just have no face cam again. So I get to my uh, commentary because, you know, I record that separately and I come to find that there's static throughout it. Which I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but it did. And I was like, great. Uh, another technical difficulty. And I'm like, well, maybe they'll... Uh, I was thinking maybe you guys would understand with the static and could possibly sit through an episode with my commentary having st static in it. So I get to trying to edit my commentary with the game and it wasn't lining up correctly. And I want to say that it was because of the static that it wasn't lining up correctly. So I'm like, Great. Again, third time. <laughs> and I was like, screw it. I'll do this all over again. So that's what this is. This is me going through all this again. So unfortunately, what we're going to go through today is not blind. It bums me out, but it is what it is. I mean, it was too much technical difficulties that wound up being un with the footage being unusable. So that's that's why we're here now. When Idy Tan turns into Eily, she always gets the hiccups. It seems like the hiccups are triggering it, but it's actually the other way around. It would be more natural to conclude that a certain frequency of electromagnetic wave is triggering the hiccups. Which should have been obvious to him in the first place. I mean, that's what's been going on lately, you know, with all the other... AR, AI hiccups. Granted, this one is more complicated, I feel. I mean, the, the ones before were just changing, you know, their clothes. This one is like changing a whole person. So it's, it, this one is vastly different. But still, I feel like Adaru, as well as the others, 
should have caught on. And granted, Daru did catch on. But I was I was also really hoping that the others would catch on pretty quick of who Ailey is. But, of course, no. It's like... But, I assume by the end of Aidy's phase here that they will find out who Ailey actually is. How did I not see something as simple as this? I must be going crazy. But right now, more, more importantly... According to the Gauss meter I bought online the other day, the magnetic waves are getting weaker and weaker by the day. And the Gauss meter came up as a tip. Uh, so I'll read that real quick here. Get to it here. A uh, Gauss meter, a device that measures magnetism or electromagnetic waves. A type of mag magnetometer. And I'm... <laughs> I, I still want to make my joke that I had made initially when I did this. So, the mag magnetometer, it can detect magneto. <laughs> you know, from X-Men. <laughs> The common ones follow the principles of the Hall effect. Something of which we don't have a tip of, so it's like I really wonder what the Hall effect is exactly. Because I've never heard of it. It was cheap, so I have some doubts about its functionality. But I don't think there's any mistake in the, de in the decline. I don't know enough about how the electromagnetic wave device is built to make any fixes. Plus, I don't have any tools with me, which makes things that much harder. Judging by the rate of decline, this is only going to last for another three days or so. Which, which had me worried initially. It's like, what's going to happen in three days. It's like, is if Idy is gonna be it as Eilie, would she be stuck as Eilie by the end of those three days, or would she revert back into Idy? Whether it be from a hiccup or not. Hopefully, things will hold until the main event. Hopefully. And I, I'm really glad that Daru actually tells her about this. So, I'm not going Actually, come to think of it, I want, I did, I hadn't thought about this initially, but I actually wonder if a uh, doc could actually have the parts necessary to fix it. I just wonder if he would. Hmm. When I deliver the honest truth, Aiditan responds without much trepidation. Does she not have any attachment to this current situation? I was mistaken. She just doesn't understand what's going on. Yep, just like I thought. Which is definitely a problem. It's like if... It's like if the... 
with the time limit, and it's like, would she revert back before the event or after? あさってですか えっと、次の予定はご当地フードフェスティバルの特別審査員ね。now, one of the things that really bums me out is my initial reaction to this outfit. <laughs> it, it, it honestly looks like a maid outfit. And I, I was like, are those bunny ears? It, it's like, they, they really do look like bunny ears. And then, if I bring up my phone droid... I had noticed that this was unread initially. This changes for some odd reason. I'm Ailey, an idol from the magical country of magical academia. Moe Moe Kyun, nice to meet ya! <laughs> and then a little stuffed animal. I think that's supposed to be a rabbit too. Actually, wait a minute. That? Oh my god. Is that supposed to be the Velveteen Rabbit? If so, that makes it even better because I, I actually have a stuffed animal of a Velveteen Rabbit. It's like, it, still have it, still in really good condition. I've had it for ages, of course. But, oh man, that, that would be amazing if this was a supposed to be a velveteen rabbit stuffed animal and then uh, a couple of other tags I had missed Waisaka gun festival equipment cold water tea and sports drinks all available and I think there was another one yeah right here disinfectants eye drops aspirin compress bandages etc I believe that was it for that. But she she honestly looks really cute in this outfit. A lot of green. <laughs> ね。Aidi-Tan Aidi seemed a little disappointed after I told her about her limited time left as Aili, but as soon as work started, her expression changed. Now she's smiling as brightly as always, making others around her smile while doing so. She has definitely grown as an idol over the past few days. The fact that she can now do her own makeup is proof of such growth. I mean, she's 14. She should know how to use makeup at this point of her life. At first, she stumbled over her words when responding to interview questions. And now she is able to organize her comments in her head beforehand to deliver them smoothly and professionally. She's grown so much as an idol in such a short time. If Aili is truly what Aiditan will look like in the future, it may make perfect sense for her to continue pursuing an idol career. And, you know, honestly, if that's what Aidi wants to do later in life, then, you know, more power to, to her. It's like whether, whether it be being an idol or doing something else. She'd undoubtedly be successful. As someone who spent many years in the Holy Land known as Akiba, I know all too well. <laughs> that line still makes me smile. 
With those thoughts running through my brain zone, Eileton returns with full makeup on. Our next stop is the food court. As I walk ahead of Eileton, some children run past us. It seems like they're siblings. They pass by us and... The girl falls over. Tripped. It's like, what is she... It's like, did she trip over her own feet? Or trip over something on the grass or the dirt road? It, it's not specified. The boy says as he hurries over. The girl who fell over sits in place, sobbing. The girl's knee is scraped and bleeding a little. As in this image, they're scraped, but no bleeding, though. <laughs> the little sister continues to cry, showing no signs of standing back up. The older brother can't do much but squat down and pat her on the head, which I find condescending. It's like she's not a small animal. She's a human. But then... Someone runs over to them. Aritan squats down beside them and peeks into the girl's face. Which isn't a really odd way to put it. <laughs> peeks into the girl's face? The girl stops crying for a moment after seeing the random woman in her face. It's like... It's like, eh? <laughs> but soon resumes the waterworks. It, it's like the the range of emotion here is just kind of funny to me. It's like, ah, ah, and then, ah, ah. <laughs> it's like, it's just like kind of a 180 of emotions. Aritan gently pats the girl on her head. It, that just... That just bugs me. Patting someone on their head. It's like, no, stop. While speaking to her in a calm, soothing tone, the girl's crying grows softer. The girl shakes her head sideways. I guess it's my turn, but just as I try to step in, the brother squats down with his back turned to his little sister, a sullen look on his face. He's offering her a piggyback ride. Now that's a good big brother offering a piggyback ride. <laughs> I would do the same thing if I had a little sister growing up. <laughs> Sadly though, I I'm the baby in my family. <laughs> the girl... It's like, I just kind of shake my head at that line. I, I'm not really. It's like, it's like, come on, kid. Kiddo. Stop trying to be cool. 
The girl climbs onto her brother's back without saying a word and finally stops crying. When we arrive at the first aid booth set up at HQ, the doctor on duty is nowhere to be found. Beside the tent is a sign that reads, Will return, <laughs> Will return shortly. Maybe they're using the bathroom. Eilie, or Eilie, I should say, stepping in for the doctor. <laughs> in the end, Eilie Tan decides to treat the girl's wound herself, since we didn't know when the doctor would be back. はい。終わりましたよ。どうですかもう痛くないでしょ。うん。これからは気をつけてくださいね。会場であんまり走っちゃダメですよ。Except there aren't, aren't a lot of kids running around at the festival. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's like, uh, just the fact that, they act, uh, that she actually says bye-bye just makes it uh, adorable. Makes her sound even more adorable. <laughs> bye bye. Same uh, same thing with Ivy or Eily. Eily Tan waves lightly at the forceful at forcefully no <laughs> at the fully recovered little girl. <laughs> it's like forcefully recovered. <laughs> oh man, uh, that that would be terrible. <laughs> She looks like a proper adult woman. When she was recovering and uh, from cold sleep and before that, her being sick, yeah. A lot, a lot of time. Oh, that's right. I nearly forgot while watching her over the past few days that she'd been told she had an incurable disease sin since birth. Well, sick, incurable disease, you, you know what I mean. She was probably in the hospital for a while after waking up from Kimijima Ko's cold sleep device. I guess this is why she's familiar with how nurses behave and what they do to make the patient feel safe and comfortable. But you did good, Ailey. So? あの兄弟だって大人しくしてたしさ。それに処置してる間、アイリタンもなんか嬉しそうに見えたよ。確かに言われてみれば嬉しいというのとは少し違う気がしますけど、なんだか充実していたようなそんな気はします。I feel like that's what really matters to Eilie, or Eidi. It's like, Eilie, Eidi, still the same person. Uh, I, I feel like that is the best 
thing that she can walk away with is being fulfilled that she made someone feel good or or either she made them feel good or helped them in some way it's like she's she's such a caring person so it's like so it's like her helping someone afterwards she would fe feel fulfilled that could be another thing she could do. It's like if she doesn't wind up being an idol, she could be a nurse. It's like, but would that actually be something that she would be interested in actually doing or not? Yeah, your future. Eileen Tan looks down with a sad expression. Oh yeah. She did say she never really thought about the future until now. Every child imagines themselves becoming something in the future, like a soccer player or a cake shop owner, however unrealistic they may be. I mean, like, for, for myself personally, Ever since I was eight years old, I've wanted to be a writer. And, you know, growing up, uh, having that thought in my head, you know, I did some writing. I, I didn't get r real serious about it. But, you know, I read a lot growing up. I mean, I loved, loved to read the Goosebumps books as a kid, you know, in the 90s. And, of course, when I got into high school, I, I then discovered, you know, Stephen King and found that I very quickly became a Stephen King fan. But, as so far as me being a writer, you know, I had, I had always had the thought in my head of being... A uh, novel, uh, a novelist for the longest time, but then over the course of my life, I also got interested in movies. So I was like, "Well, why not combine my two loves? You know, movies and books or, or writing." So I'm like, "Why not be a screenwriter?" And you know, even though that, um, you know, pushing 40, I'm still trying to pursue that dream. And I, I've been slowly working on that for, uh, for a while now. I've, I've been working on a screenplay, so maybe I can actually, uh, get it you know, like submitted to like a uh, contest or something, or you, know, you submit it some in some way to uh, get like my screenplay uh, made into a movie. It's like we'll see what happens. But she grew up convinced that she had no future. The normal experiences, the normal feelings, thoughts. She didn't have any of that growing up. <laughs> There's not a tinge of sorrow in her face when she speaks to me. それが普通だったというだけです。でもこれからは違うってこの数日でようやく気づいたんですよ。それは橋田さんのおかげでもあるんです。僕の？はい。きっと私だけじゃ途中で事情をすべて話して終わってました。
橋田さんがこうして私に協力してくれたからいろんな経験ができたんです橋田さんが手伝ってくれたから私にもいろんな可能性があるって分かったんですよ You know, it's, it's kind of interesting. It's like. Daru has kind of inadvertently put himself in the position of kind of. In, in, in a way, kind of putting himself as kind of a parental figure to Aidy in a way. It's like now, now that I'm like going over this for the second time, it, it actually kind of feels that way. And that, that puts his relationship to Aidy in an interesting light. Sakki no koto da te. Watashi no chisa na te demo, dare ka no yaku ni tateru ka mo shire nai. 今日という日があったからこそ私は気づくことができたんですアイリー・タン、no、アイリー・タンズ・チークス・レンド・リトル・エシー・ジェントリー・スマイルズ。What a truly wonderful child! I hope my daughter grows up to be like her. <laughs> Which is an interesting thing for him to say, considering who his daughter is. Winds up becoming, and depending on the timeline, Sukka, Sunja Imanuchi Yerita Kutu, Ipa Yatuita Huga Yine Yerita Kutu. Yeah, whether it be an idol, or being a nurse, or being com. Something completely different. Aidy Tan whispers and thinks to herself, What do girls her age want to do? So many different things, right? I mean, I'm a guy, how would I know? <laughs> Suddenly, my watch's alarm goes off, interrupting this precious moment. It's already time for the next event. Ikene, Hashiru, Arita! Hi! Time to go! Sate to. Ah, Kaito san! I love that the, the characters just run into the frame. In this game, it just it it just makes a a a visual novel more I don't know a more dynamic in that respect. I mean, you usually just have like sp sprites just pop up, but in this, characters just running right in. I love it. I, uh, as I wander around trying to find a place to study, Aili san comes running over. Sakki no event, mite te kuremashita yo ne? Stage no ue kara Kaito san no sugata, miemashita. Just a minute ago, she was on stage as a guest judge for a speed eating contest. I was watching from the back of the crowd. Now, I just wonder what、uh, the food was. It's like. Was it pie, hot dogs? <laughs> It's like, uh, I, would, I don't think I could ever do that myself. It's like, I, I mean, I have、uh, GERD or silent acid reflex, so I don't think I could do that. I didn't think sh I keep accidentally bringing up my phone droid. I didn't think she'd spot me from up there. Ah, 
たまたま通りがかってね本当にたまたまですか<笑> I can't help but look away as Aili san sneaks a peek at my face again <笑> Now that I think about it, the fact that an idol like her is talking so casually to me like this is kind of, kind of a big deal, isn't it? I try to keep my thoughts tucked away as much as possible in order to maintain my cool. Because Kaito has to be the cool and calm character in all this. So, now I'm going to ask you, Hoshida san? Ah, my, my, my nose has an itch. Event no staff san to chiawase ni. Watashi wa tsugi no event ma de shibaraku jikan ga aru no de. Dou shi yo ka na te. Hitori de jitto matte iru no mo tsumara nai desu shi. Aili san cuts herself off mid sentence and glances at me with upturned eyes. さんは今何を？うん、まあちょっと勉強するスペースを探してたんだけど。お勉強ですか。Wait、does this mean？まあでもいまいち乗り気しなくてさ、ちょっとブラブラしようかなって思ってたとこ。本当ですか？じゃあ
本当の恋人同士みたいですよねえっとそうなんだろう。It's like, how would Kaito feel about dating an older woman? It's like, she is supposed to be older than him. Kaito さんは私とそういうふうに見られるのは嫌ですか別に嫌じゃないけど。Honestly, Akiho just crossed my mind. I'm not doing anything wrong. I swear, I swear I'm not doing anything wrong. Especially if she comes along and finds us. <laughs> This is strictly for camouflage, and we're not actually dating. They're just having a good time at the festival. So, it. And. They're friends, so it's fine, right? It's like, the, it's like if Akio comes along, they could just pull the friend card <laughs> on her and, and maybe she'll buy it. But still. <laughs> Mango ice cream. I can't say that I've ever had mango, but I'm honestly really curious what mango ice cream tastes like. Taber? Hi, Tabetai des. I just find this CG kind of funny because of Kaito's、uh, tiny little bit of tongue sticking out of his mouth. <laughs> That just feels kind of weird. That's <laughs> all. You got done. Kaito san no sono, I know him as often more so this n e That just sounds kind of weird. Sweet potato ice cream. It's like, how would that even taste? かったら食べるいいんですかどうぞ。It's like, honestly, this image I find rather cute. Wait, did we just. No, c a s i m a s t a Like, wait for it. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> yep, t h a t s n e She might be an idol, but we're not junior high schoolers here. I feel like it would be too embarrassing to make a big deal out of an indirect kiss at this point. An indirect kiss. From sharing the same ice cream. Honestly, I wouldn't mind it.、And、then again, this is Kaito we're dealing with here. Not to mention i d i So it's like, would. If i d i was actually this age biologically, would they actually. Uh, want to like kiss each other. I, I just kind of want her. And it doesn't look like Aili san is minding it much. Nope, she's definitely minding it. Like, scrap that thought. Ah! <laughs> My image of celebs is that they're all pretty experienced, if you get what I, if you get what I mean. But she's different as far as I can tell.
thereafter, the two of us walked around the festival, grabbing quick bites on the way. And before we knew it, time had already run out. Wiley-san,そろそろ時間大丈夫? Eileen-san oh. looks a little sad when she glances at the clock. Very much so. Honto. True words. Yes, very true words. It's too bad, but there's nothing I can do about that. She's an idol, and there are lots of people waiting for her. But... Aili-san is just standing in place. Kaito-san. Her cheeks are slightly red as she nervously addresses me. It must be from all the sun she got over the last few days, right? It's like, be better, right? I knew there was an event happening tomorrow, and I was already planning on going. もちろん見に行くよ。本当ですかアイリーさんの初めてのステージだからね。ちゃんと見なきゃ。嬉しい。私頑張ります。でも不思議だよね。あ。ほら、俺がアイドルの女の子とこうして過ごしてるなんてさ
She said she's feeling okay, but maybe she's nervous. Heidi Tan thinks to herself a bit, then slowly speaks. みんなが見てるのはアイリーじゃなくてアイリーなんですよね。Yes. え? At the end of the day, I couldn't even give her any advice, let alone listen to her troubles. All I did was watch Aiditan walk away from behind. Girls sure are complicated. Every human being is complicated, not just girls. If I'm gonna be completely honest. Switching over to Aidy's perspective now. <clears throat> it's like, I, I have a frog in my throat. Am I going to be able to do my falsetto for uh, ID, for my Aidy voice? <laughs> uh, okay. I hated Cinderella. My mother read me lots of stories when she was still around. It's like... Just the fact that she hates Cinderella is just un kind of unfathomable, unfathomable to me. <laughs> it's like, I have to say that word slowly. Among... Uh, I almost did daughter's voice. <laughs> Among them, I especially hated Cinderella. The reason is simple. Cinderella's spell has a time limit. Her time as a beautiful princess ends at midnight. She returns to her usual miserable appearance. It almost felt like it was a metaphor for the time limit on my own life. Yeah, it's like she's she's really equating her life with the story of Cinderella. Especially in terms of uh, Eile here. It's like her time limit of three days is fast approaching and it's it's kind of a shame that her time as Eile is going to be short lived. But at the same time it's like the time that she has spent as Eile, she has grown and experienced several things that she may not have gotten to ex experience otherwise. So it, it's, it's an interesting kind of dichotomy in a way. And not to mention, uh, with her life before, it's like her time limit with her, you know, disease. It's like that. That's an. That's another way to equate the her hating Cinderella's story. It's like her. It's like she was supposed to. Like, I can't remember from the first game what she was told about her disease. It, she was like on a time limit of like, like so many years that she, that she would live, but I can't remember specifically. But of course, thanks to Kimi Jima and his cold sleep, she her life has got an extension. Uh, so it's it, it's interesting with her hating Cinderella in that respect. That's why I hated Cinderella. 
As I laid down on the so soft bed, I almost said sofa bed. <laughs> sofa bed. Yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. The, the tense feelings that were brewing inside me pour out in the form of a sigh. <sighs> Idol. Just a few days ago, I never could have imagined that I'd be standing in for an idol. Since I don't know the first thing about being one, the first few days went by in a whirl of chaos. Thanks to Hashirasan's support, I have the mental capacity to even enjoy the events I've been going to. And, and you know, in a way, with uh, Daru knowing and supporting her, it, in a way, with Aidy's hatred for Cinderella, Daru has kind of inadvertently become the fairy godmother, <laughs> which is just a funny image in my head. It's like, he, of, I just have like this image of my head of him dressed as, you know, the fairy godmother, you know, from Disney's Cinderella, <laughs> the, you know, the classic animated version. And just seeing him, you know, having a magic wand and going, beep, 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 going, bippity boppity boo. <laughs> it's like just, just that image of him in my head is just making me laugh. And just hearing him say, saying bippity boppity boo in his voice, that would just be hilarious. <laughs> There's just one problem. The reason I'm able to do this is because I'm not... Why am I speaking as Daru? <laughs> the reason I'm able to do this is because I'm not a real idol. It's like... It's like, uh... Uh... I, I feel kind of out of it. So, it... My... Voices are getting muddled. Real idols must have it way harder. Desperately working to survive in the industry. I mean, it's... It, in the... Entertainment industry, uh, industry is... Very competitive. Very cutthroat. It's like, it's... Not easy being in the entertainment industry. And, you know, and with me wanting to be a screenwriter, it's like I'm well aware of that fact. Compared to that, all I'm doing is mimicry. She is doing that, yes. That's the only reason I why I have any mental leeway. Of course, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I've been aware from the beginning that I'm not a real idol. But even then, as long as there are people out there who support me, I will carry out my job as an idol to the end. That is how I feel right now. So... The feelings that have been smoldering inside me are doing so for another reason. I quietly vocalize the name of the person behind it all. After being awoken from my cold sleep, Oni-chan was the first person to treat me kindly when I was all alone. I like seeing Oni-chan's bashful smile. Aidi chan when Oni-chan said my name like that, it made my heart feel warm and safe. It's like, <laughs> she's so sweet. But Oni-chan is just that, my Oni-chan. It's like, I, 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 I don't know why, but I, I feel like actually saying Oni-chan is better than saying big brother. I mean, this is a Japanese game, so with Japanese voices. To him, I'm like a little sister. It's like, I, I know Oni-chan 
is Big Brother, and on on and I believe it's Onesan for Big Sister. I have no idea what the opposite is, you know, with little sister or little brother. So I, I might, I may have to look that up actually, uh, unless someone tells me in the comments. Obviously, obviously, I knew that from the get-go, and I felt the same way for a time. But when I interact with Onichan as Ailey, I'm no longer his little sister. He sees me as an adult. He sees me as an equal. The time we spent together was super refreshing and fun. I know that Onichan has his eyes on Akiho-san, but even then, somewhere deep inside, his attention makes me happy. It's like seeing that earlier in the game, he wasn't really giving her a lot of attention because he was, you know, off being busy with uh, Daru and everyone else. It's like she was, she was kind of seeking his attention, but now that she is, has this AI hiccup with her turning into an older version of herself, now she's able to actually get his attention. But I feel like doing so in this way is is not exactly the best way to get his attention. Uh, you know, pretending to be basically someone else in a way. It's like she should really, truly be herself to get his attention. It's just... Exactly. The person Onichan is seeing is Aili. Cinderella. Go. Right. At the end of the day, I'm Cinderella. Even though you hate Cinderella. <laughs> a Cinderella that will never see a happy ending at that. I sincerely hope that's not the case. That at the end of her phase, her route, that she will have a happy ending. I mean, Cinderella had a happy ending, finding the right girl to, that fits the shoe. It's like, that was her happy ending. Getting to be with the one she loves the most. So it's like, with... Although I don't know if that will happen with Idy specifically, but I I imagine she'll have some kind of happy end. If that's the case, at least at the very end. If I remember correctly here, I believe, um, from Daru's perspective. Another day in Tanagashima. And today is finally the day of Ailitan's stage performance. I did remember correctly. Ailitan said she's practicing singing and dancing in her room every day, but I've yet to see any of it firsthand. I wonder how things are going to turn out. Under normal circumstances, I should have checked on her progress, but I totally missed my chance. Today's the day. Let alone while she's Eiliton, for me to spend a lot of time when she's Eiliton would be problematic. I guess I didn't have a lot of options. She says she'll be okay, so I guess she'll be okay. Plus, I think it's perfectly fine for her to make mistakes. 
as long as Aiditan gives it her all. So, it's a lot of people. Really? 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 それでも見たいという人が押し寄せてるらしいよ。The people who are here probably aren't familiar with what sort of idol Ailitan is. In fact, the real Ailitan that was supposed to come here never even got to start her career, so there's no way to know. And, and with the real Ailitan,、uh, If I remember correctly, the,、uh, the, one of the reasons why she didn't show up was because she had gotten into a, a relationship with her manager, right? And, well, and the result of that relationship, she got pregnant, if I remember correctly? I.、Uh, I, I, I can't quite remember, but I think that's right. In other words, the people that are gathered here are those who came to know of her existence right here at the festival. And then I'm sure at least half of those folks are just here to see an actual celebrity. But the rest are different. The rest are people who have seen and spoken to her during her time here. As far as I'm concerned, this is proof that Aiditan has a natural potential as an idol. But who knows for sure? I mean, her, her brief time as an idol sh- sure has made her be, I'd say, be more co- to be more confident. What is certain is that all of these people are here to watch her sing and dance. All the prep work is finished. Now we just gotta wait for Ailitan to show up. The robot club youngsters came over to check on us. They must have noticed something was up from the spectator seats. Yeah, but so they go. アイリーさんがまだ来てないみたいなんですホテルには今ジュンナちゃんが電話をそうですかわかりましたありがとうございますジュンタン who just got off the phone with the hotel turns our way and slowly shakes her head 橋田さんは心当たりないのそ,そうねあるって言えばあるしないって言えばないし。That kind of kind of a yes or no kind of answer <笑>。何ですかそのはっきりしない答えは。Like, not exactly escaped, escaped, f r a u Heidi s a n you can't eat so no koto, no, I d e s h o Er, well, the real Ailitan did run away with her manager. Yeah. Hotel Kara, Kotini, Mukate, Kitter, Sai, Chu, the Kotoa? Sorega, Hitotsu, Okasina Kotoa. おかしなこと何ですチェックインからあとアイリーさんの姿を見たことがないとホテルのスタッフの方が
バカモンそいつが本物のルパンツ三世だ I believe this was a tip. Lupin's the third. Yeah.、Uh, fiction. A super popular anime based off of a famous manga. It shows Lupin's the third, who is descended from the legendary phantom thief Lupin's and his friends. It grew popular thanks to its slightly adult content and has had many TV series and movies. It is popular both in Japan and overseas. And、I've, I believe this is a reference to an old, like, one of Miyazaki's first、uh, movies, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I think. Kona chan wa chotto shizuka ni shite te. Tony kaku, minna de saga shita ho ga in ja nai? ああいやそれはやめた方がいいんじゃないかなどうしてそれはその Even if we go look for her we would never find her because <sighs> because Aidy is right in front of them <laughs> but they don't know who uh Aidy has been lately. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She's been here all along. And they don't know it. Except for Dada. As soon as I saw Aidy Tan arrive with Yashio Kyun, I nearly screamed. After giving me a subtle wink, she's been observing the chaos with a worried expression on her face. While everyone deliberates among themselves about what to do, I end up signaling to Aiditan and bringing her to a quiet corner. Just Aiditan, do you go to? So, I'm not going to do it. Like, uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Damn it, what are you doing? I'm not going to do it. There's the rub. I can't become an adult either, but Aiditan is undoubtedly talking about something totally different. <laughs> Except Naru is an adult. So, what do you mean by Aiditan? It's not a thing. It's like they're so close to the others that it's like. I... How are they, like, not overhearing this? Hi, Kesa Kara Zitto. Majiska. This is not good. When I checked this morning, the electromagnetic wave irradiation equipment that transforms Aiditan into Aili was still working. Albeit a little unstable. Which is a problem. We've only got a few minutes before showtime. This is not good. At this rate, they'll end up expending energy for no reason. What do we do? Hmm. I'm going to go to the next one. There is only one place. Oh, I'm going to go to the next one. I purposely raise my voice and the robot club gathers around me. Uso, not e It too, Kaiju Naide, my o t i s i m a t e r s o d a o I avoid having my phone droid screen peeked at as I attempt to read off the non existent message. My o t e 
このステージは祭り会場でも一番目立つところですよ。Yeah, really. It's like, not, not to mention she's been around the festival long enough to know where everything is. 大地、ここには何度も来てるでしょ昨日だって来たはずだし。ほらあの子天然なところあるしどちらかというとしっかり者のイメージだけど I'm sure, I'm sure I would like to hear that ど,とにかく会場にいるのが分かっただけでもよかった私探しに行ってきますだったらうちも手伝うよスバルやフラウボーも手伝ってくれるよねしょうがないですねあとでハスハスさせろお願いします<笑> Oh Frau Never change It's like she always makes me laugh <laughs> and always makes me shake my head <laughs> いや僕が行ってくるから大丈夫みんなは待っててでも大丈夫大丈夫場所は分かってるんだしじゃあヤシオキュンここのことは任せたおう If I stick around they're just gonna get more curious about where she is That'll make things tough for me My best option is to get away as quickly as possible. Plus, there's no time left. Two a kid, I did tell you, just a minute. Eh? I whisper into her ear before darting out of the venue. Daru, away! <laughs> It's like, I feel like he's just like. Uh, just try to escape from everyone in fear of him somehow inadvertently spilling the beans. Hashida san! Before we can. Oh, no, no, no. Before we can stop him, Hashida san hurries out of the event hall. He moved faster than one would imagine based on his size. You'd, you'd actually be surprised of how fast someone of, you know, big, of big girth and just a big build can actually move. Within seconds, Hashida san weaved through the tight crowd and disappeared. ちょっとどうしましょうむやみに探しても仕方ないしとりあえず待っとくしかないんじゃない There's about 10 minutes until the scheduled start time. He said Aili san is at the festival, so I'm sure she'll make it here just in time. 場所が分かってるなら大丈夫でしょう。It's a large festival, but if he knows where she's wandering, it should only take a few minutes. Or so we all thought. Before we knew it, our deadline had gone by. さっきからかけてるけどダメ。出ない。まったく何をしてるんだ、あの人は。Curious as to how the audience is doing, I peek out from the side of the stage. These types of events have a tendency to get delayed, so the audience isn't panicking just yet. But it's only a matter of time before they do. I look up and see Aidi looking at the crowd with a worried expression on her face. Hashida san. 
Both of her hands are placed over her chest, almost as if she was praying for Hashira-san to safely bring back Aili-san. Oh, her more than anyone. Kinda, sorta. <laughs> like in a mirror. I couldn't recall of any such moments. But Aidi has been practicing Magical Academia's dances super diligently until late at night these past few days. So she must be a really big Aili san fan. <laughs> I nearly said Aili san fan, <laughs> but I caught myself. It's almost 10 minutes past the scheduled start time. And then you throw this intense sunlight into the mix. The audience, who have been patiently waiting all this time, is slowly beginning to grow unsettled. I get it. どうしよう? ここは誰か出て引き伸ばすしかないんじゃない引き伸ばすって誰が何をするんですかいや、いつかいや、あげよ、いつかどうやって誰か出て引き伸ばすしかないんじゃない引き伸ばすって誰が何をするんですかいや
、まあそのつもりだったんだけどね、本人が大丈夫っつうからさ。だからってはいそうですかって送り出しますか普通何のための迎えですかさあせんでアイリータンはそれがまだあのダルー pull the miracle here And there she is. Ta da! Osakuna te s u m i m a s e Aili san bows deeply. Aili san! Yokata! Nanika atta no kato s i m p a i s h i m a s h t a Gome wa ko kake ste s u m i m a s e n d e s h t a Hana shiwa ato des. Ima wa sugu ni stage ni agatte morata hoga i. The audience is impatient and starting to get rowdy. Sugu ni ike mas ka? Hai! Aili san takes a deep breath, heads to the stage, then turns around. Ano? Kaito san? Huh? Watashi no koto, mite ite kudasai ne. Oh, um. どうしたのカイいやカイトはあなたのカイトはあなたのカイトはあなたのカイ And so Aili san stood on stage. This was supposed to be her first time singing and dancing in public, but she performed brilliantly as if she were a seasoned veteran. The audience turned their frowns upside down the second they saw her. She made a couple mistakes and playfully stuck her tongue out, <laughs> but that just added to her charm. <laughs> さっきまでここで彼女と話してたんですよね。Yes. どうしたの急に。Like, Subaru is kind of smitten, isn't he? <laughs> いえ。なんだか不思議だなと思いまして。不思議か。確かにそうだね。でも、俺たちは確かに彼女と一緒だったよ。Idols are, people cap Idols are people capable of making anyone smile. If that's truly the case, then it's an undoubted fact that the girl on stage is an idol. Although her stage performance lasted only a few songs, the audience gave her unending applause, even calling for an encore. For a no name idol, this was a gigantic success. Tokoro de Hashida san, Sono Senaka no mono, Moshko ste. Shh, Saigo made Iwanu ga hana, Nano da zi, Nai tan. Desne. The applause from the audience finally dies down, and the star of the show comes walking down slowly. That's a wrap, and cut. <laughs> We all welcome her with applause as she walks over, glistening sweat and a bright smile on her face.
She greets each one of them individually and then eventually stands in front of Yashio Q. Oh, I'm Daru. <laughs> so she says, but there isn't a hint of regret in her face. Instead, she looks completely fulfilled. Again. あの、カイトさん、お願いがあるんです。何明日、1日だけお付き合いしてもらえませんかお付き合いそれって… we go. She actually wants to go on a date with um And of course, Akiho can't help but notice what what's going on between them. Akitan over overhears them and listens worriedly. Yashio Kyun is definitely aware of this, but after thinking to himself for a while. <laughs> He nods his head without hesitation. <laughs> I hurriedly stop Akitan as he tries as she tries to interject. It's like let her have this Akiho. It's like yeah, she doesn't know who Ailey actually is. But it's like, let Ailey have this one. It's like, yeah, Akiho is going to be jealous. But in the end, what's important to Ailey is to, s is to spend the time that she wants to as Ailey with Kaito. And to her, that's kind of precious. Mama, Akitan, this is one thing. Just leave it in the house. But... Akitan. But, at the end, Yeah, and not to mention, Akiho will also be hurt from this. Seeing Kaito go on a date with another girl. But all the same, it's like Kaito has those doubts about his, about their relationship. So, n it, so right now, nothing is set in stone with Akiho and Kaito's relationship. So, it's like with him going on a date with Ailey, it shouldn't be a huge deal. But of course, Akiho would make it into a big deal. When she really doesn't, when she really doesn't need to. But yet, you know, she, she is who she is. And she can't help to have the feelings she has, especially towards Kaito. It's like she, she's known him since they were kids. So it's like just seeing him go off with Ailey on a date, that would hurt her. But in the end, it's just for one day whereas her and Kaito have been together since they were children so it's like this is just temporary Ashido-san 
Akitan still looks like she wants to say something. But she eventually turns her back and mutters. Arigato, Akitan. I knew all along. I knew that Aiditan had feelings for Yashio Kyun. Very much so. The reason why she carried on as an idol was because Yashio Kyun was fond of her as Aili. This must, buy, um, must be why she weathered the storm for so long. But what he's seeing isn't Aiditan. He's seeing Aili, the idol. And now that she's realized it, she must have made a decision. That dreams don't last forever. Not this one. Yeah. It's like some dreams are fleeting. And this is one of those. That her feelings will eventually disappear like bubbles. But this is probably her path to her adulthood. Of her growing up, yeah. Uh, uh, Someone always takes the cake away from me. <laughs> this is just my fate. It's like that's just that's just kind of a funny line. Taking the cake away from someone. <laughs> well, I I just have a tiny bit left of what I've already seen. So I'm actually going to stop it here and leave that last little bit that I've already seen for next time. And then after that, everything will be blind. Unless I have another weird I, technical difficulty that forces me to redo everything again. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to stop it here. So I hope you all enjoyed watching. And thank you all for watching as well. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, like, comment, favorite, and claw that subscribe button to become part of the pack. And as always, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be.